Hi friends, Miss Cindy here from Mayapec Public Library once again with another fun Take and Make craft. This time we'll be making these super cute marionette puppets out of a very simple cardboard tube from paper toweling or toilet paper roll. And you can come and pick up your kit which may look like this. Um, I have a variety of different animals you can make. Uh, this one has a zebra. Um, I also have other tiger um, kits that you can make, giraffe, uh, cougar, or actually a leopard, a lion. So come on down and pick up your kit and let's get started. I'll show you how to do this. First, actually, uh, before we go th into the materials, let me show you how it's put together. As you can see, it's made up of two pieces of cardboard tube. One is longer and one is short for the head. There are holes punched. Um, one is punched at the top of the body and another one for the legs, two more on the sides for the legs, and then another one here for the head, at, again at the top of the body, and then two more for legs. So legs in front and back. And then the neck, um, I discovered I think it's better to use a, a wire, like a um, chenille stem or pipe cleaner that has a wire in it. Uh, you could use yarn. I found that, that my tiger's head was swinging around backwards, so I decided to use a, um, a pipe cleaner. And then um, some tissue paper for decorating and another piece of paper to go around for his face. But the rest of the tubes I just left open. And then to, um, of course, a little piece of uh, yarn or something for his tail and beads for his feet. And then some simple yarn and a, uh, just a stick to use uh, to manipulate your puppet and make him move. So let me show you what all those pieces will look like in your kit when you get them. So I'm going to turn, tilt this down here so you can see. And here's the paper tubes that are punched, that have all the holes punched for you. Um, there's, there will be in your kit some paper. Uh, this one will make a brown horse, so the, the tissue paper is brown. There is um, a piece that will be a tail, and there, were, there will be two pieces of some kind of yarn or some Sometimes some of them do have uh, pipe cleaners as well for the legs, depending on the animal. Um, there will be four beads. Those will be your animal's feet or hooves. And there will be at least one piece of pipe cleaner. Some are shorter and some are longer. This one is a little bit fuzzier. That will be the animal's neck. Um, you will have a, one of those large needles with the large eye to help you thread the yarn through that, those beads for his feet. And you will have your two pieces of yarn for manipulating your puppet, and those go with the, the stick. And then things you may need from home, you may need a pair of scissors. Uh, you will probably need some type of glue, either a glue stick or some white glue. You may need a little bit of scotch tape. I did use scotch tape to attach the yarn onto the stick so you may need scotch tape and you will probably need some markers to be drawing the face on so let's get started so the first thing we're going to do is actually take the body and the head and we're going to decorate them so we'll start with decorating so inside your kit you will have um, a piece of paper similar to this brown piece of um, tissue paper that will be able to fit right over the body, which is the longest roll of, of cardboard, the long, longest cardboard roll. So um, you want to check and make sure it's the right length. Um, if it may be a little long, you may need to um, just trim it down a little bit. And then go ahead and apply some glue to your tube. You don't have to cover every square inch of your tube, but you may want to do around the front and back edges like that just to make sure that that stays on and a little bit in the middle there. Um, so then you want to just wrap your tube with the paper, wrap the paper right around there. And don't worry about covering those holes. Um, they're just, it's, you know, the paper that you're using, you'll be able to poke 
uh, right through those holes or you can get a, the point of a scissor and just poke that right in there. So I'm just going to tape the rest up, uh, glue the rest of that end right down. So now your horse's body or your animal's body is covered. And if you didn't want to use tissue paper or you didn't want to use the paper that's included, if you have paper at home you prefer, or if you have any felt, maybe you wanted to make your animal have um, a felt body, that's fine. Go ahead and, and use what you have at home if you prefer that. Now I'm going to go ahead and, and do this horse's face. I'm going to cover um, the part of his face that um, that's open so that we can see, um, we can cover those edges up with the when we wrap. So just kind of see if you can fit, put the glue all the way around the edges there and fit that paper, I'm going to add a little more glue, fit that paper around the edge of, so you want to cover that opening where his face is so that you can draw on um, some of his features. Uh, a horse, uh, most of the horse's features are actually like the horse's eyes are on the side of the head, um, whereas other animals like that tiger that I showed you, the, uh, the eyes are in front and the mouth is in front. So, um, so you have to draw the features for the animal that you have. So now I'm going to add some more glue uh, right around the, the whole head. And then we're going to wrap the other piece of tissue paper around the head. Okay, and that will help hold down those loose pieces of tissue paper that are kind of popping up there. So oh, let's put some more glue. Here we go. All right. So then just go ahead and wrap this around. There's a little bit extra. You can just continue to wrap it, or if you want to cut it off, you can trim it off. I'm just going to glue it down. All right, so now you have your horse's body and your horse's head covered with paper. And I'm going to take my marker now and draw in the facial features. And you want to make sure, look for where your holes are, and um, maybe it'll be easier if I poke, I have my needle here, I'm just going to poke them through again. There's one, and there's the other. Now this is how you know, this is the part that's going to attach onto the body, uh, because that's where the neck holes would be. So this is where the face is going to be. So I'm going to put the horses, I'm going to give them a little smile. Oh, looks like my marker's drying out there. And a horse has his nostrils there. I think I'm going to need my other marker. Let's see. And there's a horse's, oh, it looks kind of like his eyes, doesn't it? Um, but a horse's eyes are actually on the side of his head. Their eye. I'm going to give him some eyelashes. All right, so the other thing a horse has is ears, and you will probably have in your kit a little extra, I'm going to just put a little more glue on this end, it keeps popping off, you probably will have a little extra paper in your kit if you want to add details such as ears. So I'm going to cut out just a couple of ears, I'm going to cut two at once, so... And I'm going to leave a little extra at the bottom so that I can glue them on. And uh, feel free to decorate your animal however you like. If you wanted to add uh, a mane or, um, you know, any other details like spots or, or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put the horse's ears right back here. There's one... And here's another one that kind of go right back on the side of his head. So now you have, there's his nostrils and his mouth. 
and there's his eye. So there's my horse's face. All right, the next thing you're going to want to do, we're going to set that aside and let that glue dry. You want to poke through the holes that are in the body. So let's poke through those holes. Make sure you know where they are. And there will be three holes, so two of them will be for the legs, and one of them will be facing up, and that will be for the neck. So they're kind of roughly in a triangle there, those three holes. So I'm going to make these two be the legs. So let's start by threading your, these are the legs, these um, sort of fuzzy yarn. And I'm going to thread that yarn right through the big needle, the eye of the needle. And you don't have to pull too far in. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it through the bead. So pull it right through the bead. And you want to tie a knot on the end. So before you pull the bead all the way on and off again, just make a little square knot. And this is so fuzzy that one knot will do. So just make a loop and put the end through. Now you have a nice square knot, and that will keep your bead on. So you already have one of your horse's feet on there. And now that you have one on, what you're going to do is feed the needle through the first hole. And then you're going to go right through the body and pull it through the second hole and pull it right out. And now you're going to put it through the, another bead. So now this is his second, let's say this is the front, we'll say this is the front. And now we would want to tie another knot to keep that bead on. And you want to pull it down to the end there. And there's your bead at the end. So now your horse already has his two front feet. So let's go ahead, if you were confused about that, let me show you how to do it again. We're going to go ahead and thread that yarn through the eye of the needle, and we're going to put on the first bead for his hoof, pull it down to the almost to the end, and make a knot. Then you've got your first bead on. Okay, so now you want to make sure this one's at the top. There's at the top. So here's the feet. We're going to put it in through the first hole and then out through the next hole. Just pull it right through. Now we want to put the second, the final hoof on. Put it right through. And then make a, pull your needle off. Make a loop and a knot, and now your animal has four legs. All right, pretty good, right? A lot less complicated than you thought. Okay, so um, they both both ends of this horse should have holes punched for ones for the neck, and the other one would be for the tail or and where it's going to hang um, from as from the strings as a puppet. So I'm going to go ahead and just tape the tail on now. I'm going to grab a piece of tape from here, and I'm going to put the tape kind of on the inside. And I, you remember you don't want to block that hole because you need that later. So there's his tail, and now we know the head will go right up here. So now that all four legs are on and the tail, we want to attach the head onto the body. And for this, we'll be using a chenille stem, or also known as a pipe cleaner. Uh, this one is pretty long because a horse's neck is pretty long, so I'm going to fold it over. And um, the way we'll do this actually is you want to find the uh, part of the hole in the neck that's that's at the bottom of the horse's head, so the opposite of the ears. And I'm actually just going to thread, after folding it in half, just one portion, not the both pieces of the folded pipe cleaner, but just one through that bottom uh, hole. So um, here it's going like right through. There we go. So that the fold is right at the neck, where the head meets the neck. So then I'm just going to twist that around. Um, it'll help the, the horse's uh, head to stand up. It will have the, the string on it, but it's nice to have um, the weight and the, the thickness of that double twisted pipe cleaner there. So now I have 
Um, the other end, which are, there's two pieces, but they're going to go through the hole that, that's the, the top, that's the opposite end of the tail. So here's the tail and here's the hole we want to put those through. So I'm going to thread one of those again through the hole and pull it through. Now that they're, they're both through, again, we can um, just wrap these up together, make his neck a little bit thicker, and wrap up those ends. So just kind of twist it around. Until those ends are, you can fold them under or, or twist them. And you may need to manipulate it a little bit um, to, if you want your head to be facing in a certain direction. But luckily with the wire there, it does make it easy to do that. So, so this is how my horse looks uh, now with his neck attached. And, and it's okay if it flops a little bit because you will have the, the string holding it up. Or you can, if you want to tighten it up down there, just twist it a little bit tighter. And that should hold it on. Let's see, this is coming off. I'm going to just give it another twist here. All right. So finally, to turn your little animal into a puppet, you want to attach the yarn um, to the holes that one of them is at the top of his head and one of them is right next to his tail. So it's, uh, it's still probably a good idea to use your large eye needle and put that yarn through. And I'm going to put it right through. This one will go at the top of his head. So put it right through there. And then you just want to tie. So take the end and tie it. Make a square knot there. So a little loop and put the end through. Make another little loop. Put the end through. And then pull. So now that's nice and tight. If you want to cut off the extra there, you can do that. And then do the same thing with the other piece of yarn on the other end of your animal. So thread that yarn through, um, find the animal's tail, and put the yarn through there, put the needle through, pull it all the way through. Um, I think I am, there we go. Oh, there we go. Here's your, your two pieces. You want to make a loop. Put it through, so tie that little square knot, do it again. And now both of your strings are attached. So you can go ahead and remove that needle. And you do want to make sure, let me pull this up here. You want to make sure that um, they're both roughly uh, the same length to attach onto the stick. So these are pretty close. So I'm going to go ahead and take a couple of pieces of tape. Here's one. And I'm going to just tape that right on there and just wrap the tape around to hold it on. I'll do the same thing on this side. And put that tape on there and wrap it around. And now you've got your very own marionette animal puppet. So as you know, the theme of the summer reading program this year is tails and tails. So you've made your own little animal puppet. Um, we have a good number of these kits, but come on down while supplies last. And it actually is a really simple thing that you could probably find these materials at home if you wanted to make some more different animals. Um, you, I'm sure you have a, a, a roll from a paper towel tube that you could cut to make a body and a head. You might have a pipe cleaner, a little bit of yarn um, to use for his legs and his tail, and then some other yarn you can use for, for stringing, and even um, a popsicle stick or this um, thicker stick that we have here, this thicker craft stick. So make, you can make a whole zoo or make a whole show's worth of puppets and have your own puppet show. Um, so keep being creative, have fun with it. If you have a chance, you can take a photo and send it to me at cgreen at mayapeclibrary.org. I'd love to see what you made. And remember, 
to come by the library and see me there. Thank you so much for watching. See you at the library.